Australians with higher incomes spend a proportionally low amount on luxury goods, with the luxury market taking in 2.3 billion AUD in the 2018-19 financial year. However, this market is expanding rapidly. Thorstein Veblen believed that as different nations' economies developed, their conspicuous waste from overspending and overproduction of luxury goods with low value creation would increase massively, even coining the term conspicuous consumption. This would suggest, in agreement with economists' position, predictions, that luxury spending in Australia will quickly grow in the coming years. With any change, it is important to modify policies to ensure that the economy runs smoothly afterwards. A policy change in regards to the expanding luxury market is crucial in order to achieve the economic goal of maintaining stability in the luxury market in Australia. I believe that, in accordance with Bastet's beliefs, it is important to modify government policy to facilitate an efficient and effective free market. Because they're so expensive, people purchasing these goods will be able to afford the increased cost with negligibly lower demand. An increase in taxation on the production of these luxury goods would bring in significant revenue for the government to allocate elsewhere with a relatively low cost. This additional government revenue should be reassigned to fit the goal at hand of providing welfare support for the elderly. Investing in cultural outreach programs targeting the aged would be a fitting area to allocate money. Investment in such areas helps to improve the mental well-being of the elderly who can often feel distance from the rest of society. Subsidies into the research of health problems prevalent in older people also helps to provide physical assistance to the elderly. Overall, I would highly recommend additional taxation on luxury goods to finance additional revenue allocation towards the improvement of well-being in the elderly demographic. A small change in taxation would make a massive difference to the well-being of the elderly with very low costs. In addition to this, the administration costs for this change wouldn't have a massive ongoing cost and the upfront cost wouldn't be huge either. Thank you.